What's up guys, it's Elise from The Crunchy Ginger. Today, let's make lotion bars. Lotion bars are a solid lotion. They look like this, like a little bar of soap, but when you rub them between your hands, it warms up the solid oils and it distributes like the perfect amount of moisture onto your hands. They're wonderful, you can make them look any way you like, you can make them smell any way you like, and the best part about them is they only require three basic ingredients. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Please stick around to the end and I'll show you how to package it if you're wanting to use this as a homemade gift. So to get started, our three ingredients, shea butter, you can also use cocoa butter or mango butter, coconut oil, I'm using this one, the solid coconut oil because it's inexpensive. I can buy it in this gigantic mama tub and I use it for all sorts of stuff. You can use a different carrier oil if you like. And beeswax. Our beeswax is going to help set the bar up so that it is solid at room temperature. If you'd like, you can also add essential oils. Today I'm going to make a calming one, so I'm going to be using this um, essential oil called Gray Matter Batter by Oracacia, and it smells lovely. It's got mint, lavender, spearmint, and chamomile. So I'm making these as sort of a calming lotion bar. If you want to make a calming lotion bar, but you don't have this blend, you want to do something a little more simple, lavender is a great choice. It's safe for almost all people. So before you give this as a gift, you're going to want to check that you're not giving it to a small child or someone who's pregnant or nursing or has some other health condition that's going to be affected by an essential oil. So make sure you choose a safe oil for your recipient. But for this recipe, one of the reasons why it's incredibly easy is because you just need equal parts of all your ingredients. So here I've already measured out two ounces of each of my ingredients. Two ounce coconut oil, two ounce shea butter, and two ounces of my beeswax. We're gonna just melt them all together. If you don't have a kitchen scale, I just used a small kitchen scale like this. I think it's way easier than trying to like stuff these sticky butters into like a measuring cup, but you can absolutely do that. Just make sure you're using an equal part each one. So half cup, half cup, half cup, quarter cup, quarter cup, quarter cup. It just depends on how big of a batch you'd like to make. I think for this, you want to keep your essential oils to about a 1% dilution. So for mine, I've got six ounces total of my oil. So I'm going to use about 30 drops of my essential oil. I'll put a little chart in the bottom to help you figure out what your dilution might should be, but I keep it to 1% or less. Um, so let's get started. All you're going to need besides your oils is a small heat proof bowl and a, a, a saucepan with a little bit of water in it, some kind of stirring utensil, and a mold to put it in. Now your mold can be really anything. I've got this soap mold that makes these like little flower guys. Um, I got this at the craft store for just a couple of bucks. These are widely available. You can use a muffin tin if you don't have a mold like this. You can use any of those silicone baking molds. They make them for muffins, they make them for candy. Really anything that you can pour liquid into and then pop it back out of will absolutely work for this. Um, let's get started. So I am going to just put all of my ingredients into my bowl to melt. I'm actually going to start with my beeswax because it's going to take a little longer to melt. I'll scrape all my pellets in there. My solid coconut oil, or if you're using another oil, and the shea butter. We'll just give this a few minutes and allow all of the oils to melt and blend together. That ought to do it. They're all blended together. They're all completely melted. Now this part we want to work a little bit quickly. So we'll take this off the heat. I've got my mold over here ready to go. Now this isn't super boiling hot or anything. I kept my water at pretty much a simmer, but you're going to want to give this just a second before you add your essential oil. Um, just because you don't want to add an oil when it is super, super hot. So like I said before, I'm going to add about 30 drops to my mixture. Um, here we go. 28, 29, 30. So we will stir that in together. And mine is actually already starting to solidify around the edges, so I'm gonna work pretty quickly here. Start over here. Here we go. So 
So you're going to want to let this cool on your counter for a few minutes until the oils start to solidify. You can continue to let it cool on the counter until it is completely solid, till the bars are set. Or if you're impatient like me, you can pop it into your fridge or your freezer. I like to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. I probably would put it in the freezer, but I honestly don't have room in there. Um, and after a couple of hours, it's really gonna be nice and nice and set so that you can pop them out of your mold. You don't wanna pop them out before they're set. And try not to jiggle them once you've got them on the counter like this. Um, that way it won't sort of disturb your, your mixture. It's been about 10 minutes or so, and um, just on the counter you can see that these have already solidified quite a bit. They are um, opaque at this point, and I feel comfortable moving them. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these in my fridge to finish setting up. We'll pop them out, and then I'll show you some amazing ways that you can package these that make a beautiful gift for anybody on your list. I've let these chill out in my fridge for about an hour or so, and they feel pretty cool to me all the way around. Um, so I'm just gonna turn them out and very gently push them out of the mold. You're gonna wanna do this over a surface because this is like the equivalent of having like a really well greased muffin tin. Yeah, see that one just fell right out. Uh, and so all we'll need to do if they don't come out is just give a gentle press on one side. There we go. And there we go. All right, now here's a couple of ways that you can package these up. I like to start with a sort of square of parchment paper or wax paper. This is parchment paper and kind of wrap them just so that they don't get nicked and smudged. And I just kind of wrap them around. If you want to secure this with like a pretty sticker or some of that like that colored washi tape, um, or just a clear piece of tape, or if you just want to fold it, that will work too. I'm just going to tuck this around, um, and this is how I like to start for all of them, just to keep them protected as they don't smudge on other stuff. You can get tins like these. These, these are widely available. Um, I got this at the craft store, but they also have them on Amazon. I'll find something similar and put a link below, and these will fit right in here. I have found like the perfect size circle one for mine. So you'll need to measure um, the mold that you're using and see what size 10 you might need. This is a slightly pricier option because you do have to pay for these tins. If you wanna go a little bit less expensive, I found these little boxes. Now these are holiday boxes and I just found these like on sale at the craft store and they also fit really nicely in here. And these boxes are obviously less expensive than the tins. And if you don't wanna do any of that stuff, it looks really nice if you just wrap them up and put them with some tool or a piece of tissue paper, tie it with a ribbon, and call it good. If you're making these for yourself, you can find any little box you've got laying around, even like a little small Tupperware will work for these as well. Um, but I like to put them in something a little prettier just for the packaging. They travel well, they ship well. I have family all over the country and this is a great gift because I never worry about anything spilling. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and I hope that it helps you make homemade gifts for everybody on your list. If you want to know more tips and tricks to save a little money and live a little greener, come on over to thecrunchyginger.com, follow me on Instagram, and please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.